All right, here we are, a beautiful copperhead, a young one. What, eight inches long or so, green tail, fairly newly born. Leaving me alone, I'm leaving it alone. I've been here for a few minutes. It has not moved, except moved its head to track me a little bit. And self-protection. Sometimes it looks like it's scared. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? So, yeah, some people are scared of snakes. You should be, stay away from them. But that shouldn't be, as some people say, what we don't understand, we fear. What we fear, we hate. What we hate, we seek to destroy. When we don't understand something, we shouldn't mindlessly kill it. We should seek to understand it. Same thing with this. Scaring fear should just be stay away. These are good for our environment. I've been around a lot of them. So I am comfortable. No fear, just appreciation. Of course, no stupidity either. I'm not going to play with it and get bit. That'd be idiotic. I wouldn't want to traumatize it anyway. I don't want to get bit. I don't want to traumatize it. I don't want to mess with my day and have to deal with the snake bite. Although, if I did, it'd probably be wet, but sometimes they're dry, just warning bites. But good stuff. Notice we're safe. Nothing to fear. Well, you know, some danger, low risk. Just be smart. Enjoy it, stay away from it, observe, learn. This should come up in real biology class, how to deal with things like that. Because this is something some people come up against or come up with an experience. Notice DNA has nothing to do with this. Memorizing little G's and N's and A's or whatever is like irrelevant. Knowing the rules of nature in this is important to help people appreciate it. Know why this guy helps our environment. Know what to do to not be bit. Pay attention. Don't mess with it. Then everything's fine. All right, Snake. Thank you for posing. Thank you for being photogenic. I'll talk to your agent and I'll pay your agent later. You'll get paid. Peace out.